What's good, y'all? I'm sure y'all probably seen the video that Queen dropped where she said she was expressing her, she was telling her side of the story. Um, I have two clips in this video that I want to express how I feel, and I want to see how you guys feel about it. So stay tuned. Just just watch the whole video. Did all this run into social media? And I know y'all probably like, well, you doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it now because I have to say something. But all of this going to social media to like, you know, bash each other and things like that, or like throwing a little slick shade and comments and things like that. I really hope it stops. I really hope it stops because it don't do nothing but give everybody a show. And now I know people watching my stuff like it's one big show, but it's like I had to kind of tell my side because I just feel like people just don't understand and they're making me out to look like a terrible person. They're making it look like Claire beating on, beating on me and abusing me and like that's not even what's going on. I heard someone said that this little mark I had was well, going away now. You can't really see it. This little mark that I had is from Claire abusing me. Are y'all freaking serious? Like that was a blown vein from the IV from the hospital what's up it's your girl miss bars back with another video now the only problem with what she said is when she was in the hospital her iv was not on that arm it was on her right arm as you can see in that top left picture right there that was her iv and the other picture where she has on the gray is when she was making the baby dance and that's the arm where the bruise was right there next on the right side right there with the gray shirt that's how she looked when she came home so there couldn't have been a pop vein or anything from an IV because her eye, her arm is clearly all good. Now, the thing is, Queen needs to realize, as a fan of hers, we care about her. Okay, it's not... So when she said people trying to make her look bad, that must be from something totally different than what the hell I talk about. Because I don't make her look bad. Um, That dude you have, yeah. We can clearly see there are some things that you're not willing to say because you want to hold your family together, which I can understand. You're young. You have a lot to learn. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you're usually honest with your, your fans, you know. Anyway, that picture right there at the bottom with the black shirt is when they were doing the uh challenge where you put the headphones on, the whisper challenge. And as you can see, there's a bruise, which is after the baby. After she was making the baby dance. So it's just like, you know, I don't understand why. I, I mean, I, I mean, listen, I don't want to say someone is beating on somebody if they're not. That's a real crazy accusation. So I'm not going to sit there and say Clarence is beating on her. I'm just going to say something happened to your arm and your fans were asking me, is he beating you? And I said, well, ask her. Why are you? Why are you asking me? I wouldn't know that. I don't know that for sure. You know what I'm saying? But they were very concerned. So they came and asked you, and I see that you're saying it was an IV, and I think that's just that's just crazy. I would have just left it alone. I wouldn't have said anything if that's the case, because it's going to make things worse now. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, I am a fan of hers, whether you believe it or not. I am not a fan of Clarence, and I am not going to be a fan of Clarence, because I can see clearly straight through him, and I'm sure we all can. Queen did that video. It was, you know sad and you know she kept it real on some things and some things i feel like she didn't you know the things that she was supposed to go into she said i'm not even going to say anything and i believe that's because it was probably terrible things you know what i'm saying and she doesn't look like a happy person to be saying how happy she is she looks very sad and she like despite what y'all hear i'm very happy guys without even a smile on her face she looks tired she looks like she need a break from everything she looks like she need a, a spy day it make you want to hug her when you watch this video. But the whole thing is, shit like this, though, like with the arm situation, look, it ain't our business. That's right. But when you are a fan of someone and they actually invite you into their life, you know, the parts that they want you to see, you're going to speculate and you're going to care. That's two things you're going to do. Speculate on what could be happening and you're going to care if you really genuinely care for the person or if you're just a fan of their music and you follow their life. Whatever involvement you have, you're going to have questions. So that's what Queen, I'm sure she understands that. But yeah, that's the problem that I had. I watched the video or whatever and I watched the entire video and then when she said that about the arm, I'm just shaking my head like, come on, man. I wouldn't even said nothing if that's the case. It looks like it had makeup on it in that video as well. Am I 100% sure? Nope. 
But does it look like it? It does. It looks like it was to make it look like it's, you know, fading away or something like that. Look, with that being said, this next clip is just about, you know, her, the way she's explaining how it's all her fault. I believe that's what Clarence says to her. She did say uh, her relationship is stressful and everything due to the, the family's feuding and everything about her parents being, um, I mean, not her parents, her family being jealous and thinking that she replaced them. With, with her new family, this, that, and the third. It's stressful. Things being said online. It, you can tell by looking at her that it's stressful. But at the same time, when you hear her blame it all on herself, that is being said to her. I'm sorry. You could just hear it in an argument where Clarence like, it's all your fault anyway. You should have stood up for yourself. You should have nipped it in the bud when it first started. The way she's saying it, I'm just like, bruh. And then also the clip when she was showing her arm, when she was scratching her head and saying it was the IV and stuff, that's because she know it was not from no IV. That's why she was looking like that on that particular part. I just want y'all to check out that clip again of her saying that that bruise came from the IV. And then I want you to listen to her actually saying that everything is her fault. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to come right back real quick. To myself, like, I realized that I have a hard time standing up for myself. Um... And that if I had more control over everything, this whole situation, then none of this would have happened. So really, it's really my fault, to be honest. If I would have been nipped everything in a bud in the beginning, none of this would even happen. But since I walk around everybody else's feelings and don't think about myself and don't think about the bigger picture and what could happen in the future and how crazy it could actually get, it's like things get worse and build up more. And making it look like Claire beating on, beating on me and abusing me and like that's not even what's going on. I heard someone said that this little mark I had was well, going away now. You can't really see it. This little mark that I had is from Claire abusing me. Are y'all freaking serious? Like that was a blown vein from the IV from the hospital. All right, y'all, I am back, and I guess y'all can see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not saying that Queen is not smart enough to realize that she does need to put her feet, you know, put her foot down or whatever and start standing up for herself more. I'm not saying that she doesn't, she ain't smart enough or capable, you know what I mean? But at the same time, those words, for someone to say something is all their fault when clearly it's not all your fault, it just seems like something that was probably thrown at you in arguments and stuff like that. And also, I have some advice for you and Clarence. I think that... As, you know, celebrity status, I don't think you guys should be so concerned with comments, especially those that are coming from 14 and 15 year olds. Like, you cannot let social media actually get between your relationship. This is something that you should be learning as well. It's no way in hell strangers should ever be able to get under your skin because they don't know you, right? It's no way. Why do you think celebrities actually have other people running their social media platforms? A lot of times they don't even bother with actually getting on themselves. They don't care what people have to say. They care about their record sales, their ticket sales, you know, being successful and living happy because they don't watch what other people say about them. That could happen to anybody, the average regular person. But when you are a celebrity status, no way in hell you should be reading anything from a stranger and taking it to heart. The only thing I would do is if I see somebody giving me wisdom, encouragement, or showing me something, I probably would look at it. But kids, though, and all, oh, hell to the no. So that's just my advice for y'all. To be happier, stop listening to strangers, okay? And, um... I just hope that you're truly good. I really hope that nothing is going on. Like I said, I don't know if that man is putting his hands on you, but I know that that bruise is actually sticking up. When you say the little bruise, the little mark that you had, it was a big mark. And it was, and it's, when you look at it right now, it's, it's lifted up. It just looks like it has makeup on it. And it's not the same arm that you had your IV in. So I'm just like, okay, I just hope the girl is all right. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for allowing us to actually, you know, uh, watch your, your videos and like your Chris and Queen shit. That's classic. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't know, man, we as fans just want you to be good. You know what I'm saying? We don't like Clarence. And when I say we, I'm talking about a large amount of people. And he has shown us so much on camera that it's like, we don't have to 
we don't have to try to guess too much. He shows how he is, you know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know. I mean, I guess girls want what they want, you know, and they have to do things on their own time. But I'm just saying, Queen, you don't look happy, man. You look drained. You look tired. You look fed up. You know what I'm saying? And um, you said at one point you said um, it, it's not. I'm not saying me and Clarence gonna break up, but and I'm just like, well, damn, like the arguments are that bad over y'all two's family and what goes on on social media. I just think y'all got a lot of growing to do. Y'all are very young as far as how y'all think. And um, like I said, just start from not watching comments and not trying to find things, you know, and tell people not to send you videos or don't open up the shit and look at it. It's so many ways to be happy and block out anything but what you're focused on. If you're focused on your album, do that. And just don't worry about no comments from strangers or whatever the case is. Entertainment is entertainment. Anybody with celebrity status is, who's showing their life, especially while they're a singer or a rapper, yeah, people going to talk and make videos, they report the news and say their opinions and critiques. That's what YouTube is for. But you got to be careful what you show. And, um, oh yeah, let me say this. At one point I thought, Queen, at one point I thought that you really was doing this on purpose. It was so much stuff in these videos that I'm like, there's no way that she can't know what she doing. Like certain little things that you say, certain things he say, I'm like, are they doing this on purpose? Like they want us to make videos about this? They have to want us to. Like, this is crazy. Why would you put that out there like that? But then again, maybe y'all just was... I don't know, not paying attention. Whatever the case is, y'all the ones that give us all all this shit. Like, besides what your sister put out there and your mom and a little slick shit your grandmom say on, on the uh, comment sections, besides that, you and him do a lot in those videos and say a lot in those videos, and it's just like, wow, we can see the shit. But that's third eye vision. Now, when you're making videos for children, they're not going to see shit. But when us adults are tuned into your videos, we tend to see, well, people with third eye vision, tend to, you know, we tend to see right through the shit. So, you know, sorry about that. You know, it's just a gift that some people have. But any anyway, with all of this being said, I hope that you are good. I hope that no domestic nothing is going on. Hopefully, y'all can stop watching comments, especially Clarence, that grown-ass man, getting mad about people's comments and arguing with you. Come on, man. Like, that got to be stressful. But anyway, um, make sure y'all comment below. Let's talk about this shit in the comment section. And um, I'll just see y'all on the next video. Let's get it!